how the Royal Bank of Scotland developed consumer trust for their big data strategy. Whenever companies want to use data, especially customer data, it is really important that customers trust the company. And this is something that the Royal Bank of Scotland has focused on. They developed a new big data strategy. They called this a personology strategy. And the whole idea was to use customer data in order to give some real value back to customers. So they wanted to make sure customers trusted them. And they said the only way to do this is to show customers what we do with this data and actually deliver some value back to them. I think lots of financial institutions have had some negative press because they basically developed algorithms and they looked at the data to see, okay, I know that once I've given you a really high interest rate to lure you in, and then after a few months this drops to zero, I don't tell you because you will stay on the zero interest rate for a really long time until you figure out, okay, this is happening, and then you change, and they make lots of profits. RBS wanted to do this differently. So they created an 800 person strong analytics team. They had a 100 million pounds investment into big data and analytics. And as part of this, they wanted to deliver some real customer insights. And what they're now doing is they basically use big data tools to comb through all customer records to all your financial transactions. And if you're one of, your, one, one of their premium account holders, you basically get a few additional services like breakdown cover, like mobile phone insurance. And what they would do is they would use analytics to detect our customers paying double. Have they got another, so travel insurance is another one. So if you are paying for another travel insurance product, they would then tell you, saying, okay, looks like you're paying double. Initially, this was a bit of a risk because they say maybe they cancel the premium account and go to this travel company that they've subscribed with. Actually, what happened is that most customers got rid of the third party product and actually valued the relationship they have with the Royal Bank of Scotland much more. Again, what they will now do is they will tell customers, okay, your, your interest rate is dropping in, a, in three months time. Do you want to look at new products? And this is for me something that most companies don't get right. They don't develop this trusting relationships where, 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 they're getting, where they're giving customers real value back from their data. So when I work with companies, helping them develop data strategies, this is usually a core element of all of this. Identifying how can you develop trust. You want, to give, you want customers to give you your data, their data, and in order to use this data for your own purposes, but also to give customers value back. And if you create this relationship with your customers and they trust that they are getting something back for their data, you are in a much better position to use this data for your own benefits as well. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.